Thank you, Viviana. I now call to the podium salutatorian for the class of 2024, Mr. Garrett Wade Talamantes. Good evening, everyone. My name is Garrett Talamantes, and I am your 2024 senior class salutatorian. Let me be begin by thanking all of the faculty, our administrators, our board members, and especially our friends and families for helping us reach this milestone. Give yourselves a round of applause real quick. I'd also like to thank our cafeteria ladies, our custodians, our maintenance workers, our security personnel, and everyone else working behind the scenes. You are the unsung heroes who ensured we always had a warm meal, a safe environment, and everything we needed to maximize our learning experience. From the bottom of our hearts, the class of 2024 thanks every single one of you. To my classmates, yep. Yeah. To my classmates, I can't believe we're actually here. We've certainly had our ups and downs. We spent our freshman year in quarantine, our sophomore year behind masks with a new term, social distancing. And we had many traditional high school activities canceled along the way. Yet, we persevered. When I started working on this speech, I immediately thought about a video my dad sent me of Admiral William H. McRaven, one of our most decorated US commanders in history and a Navy SEAL. Those who may have seen this video know the essence of his lessons for changing the world may seem simple on the surface. However, upon further examination, there are profound and proven strategies for developing mentally strong and resilient leaders. Mind you, I'm not here to dissect his speech, but his first lesson is the one that I want to focus on. If you want to change the world, make your bed. It sounds silly, but how is making your bed going to change the world? From the Navy SEAL training perspective, if you make your bed, you, have, you will have accomplished the day's first task. It'll give you a small sense of accomplishment, which will carry you on to the next task, and then the next task, and so on and so forth. By the end of the day, that little task will have turned into many tasks completed. Making your bed will also reinforce that the little things matter. And if you can't do the little things right, you'll never be able to do the big things right. And should you have a miserable day, at least you get to come home to a bed that's made, that you made. And a made bed encourages you that tomorrow will be a better day. So, if you want to change the world, make your bed. Now I know some or most of you are still wondering why I'm talking about making your bed. I'm guessing some of you are probably wishing that you were still in bed. I see you, Floyd. I see you over there. The answer is simple. As monumental and festive as today may be, it is just life's first major task. Many of us will soon go on to universities and trade schools. Others will enter the workforce, get married or start families. Our journeys will differ, but they all started with this one task, and that is high school graduation. This moment marks the beginning of our individual paths, yet we are united by the experiences and memories we've shared. My class of 2024 family, please look to the person on your left. Now look to the person on your right. Take a good hard look. Forget the silly disagreements you may have had, which we know happens in every family. And remember the good times we shared over the years. Some of us have been together all the way back to daycare, and we know each other better than our own siblings. Realize this may be the last time or one of the few times some of us will ever see each other again. That person next to you may become a doctor the next time you see them, a scientist, a teacher, or a politician. They may be at your bedside helping you or a family member back to health, or they may be an officer writing you a ticket, so you better be nice to Stephen Campos. <laughs> Seriously though, there's a world of opportunity for each of us out there. Do not compare your own accomplishments to this point to anyone else's. Do not compare your future educational decisions or chosen career paths either. 
We each have our own goals and aspirations, as well as our own priorities, obstacles, and setbacks. However, the choices you make from this point forward are your own. Whatever you do, never let anyone tell you some kid from Carrizo Springs can't do it because you can. So, whether you stand up here giving a speech today or you simply slid through school by the seat of your pants, you already have accomplished the first task of the day. I hope that from this day forward, the simple act of making your bed reminds you of this day, of this journey, and it gives you a little boost of encouragement that you need to tackle whatever life throws your way. Class of 2024, my class of 2024 family, it has been a privilege and an honor to serve as your class president for the last four years. And I pray that each and every one of you find success and prosperity in your future endeavors. And I have one more thing to say. Trust in the Lord always, and he will make your paths straight. Now go make your beds. Tally out. Thank you, Garrett. Now it is my honor.